Hola, we are the Tijuana Ministry. Our purpose is to foster friendships and spiritual growth by reaching across borders to bring God's people together. By putting our faith into action, we build lasting and vibrant communities in collaboration with San Eugenio Parish in Tijuana. We provide opportunities for education, immersion, and commitment to promote human dignity. Take a look at our latest projects. In December, ministry leaders travel to Tijuana to choose the build sites for the 2012 mission trip. We first toured the local open air market which sells food, clothing, and other goods. The roads here are mostly unpaved, and huge channels are carved out by the dirt and floodwaters during the rainy season. In the dry months, garbage collects here. As in previous years, Tijuana Ministry will continue to serve the local community with our popular outreach programs. Last year, we had more than 50 women take part in the Mother's Program. They worked on crafts, discussed topics like health and education, and shared with each other. And we had 170 kids participate in sports, fun activities, and learning. Both of these programs continue to expand each year and are a major highlight of the trip. We named our construction sites this year after Joseph, Casa de Jose, Mary, Casa de Maria, and Seeds of God, Semillas de Dios. Our first home built site is called Casa de Jose. The dad, Julio Cesar, works as a repairman in a machine shop, earning $75 a week. Mom, Yaritza Cruz, lost her leg due to complications with cancer. She now wears a prosthetic leg and is unable to hold a job. She is challenged by needing to carry water from the outside faucet into the house for cooking and cleaning. They have a three-year-old daughter named Juliana. Their current home has lots of mold, especially in the bedroom, and countless leaks, which they trap with buckets and makeshift tubes so it doesn't flood their furniture and belongings. They came to Tijuana looking for work. The sign on the house says, God bless our home. Their wish is to have a safer house for their daughter. We will be building for this family in July. Our second home site is called Casa de Maria. Leticia Ruiz is a single mother who works in a restaurant earning $60 a week. She has two children, 10-year-old daughter in 6th grade, also named Leticia, and 8-year-old son Kevin in 4th grade. To make ends meet, they are renting a small provisional room at one end of their property to a nephew Pablo. The site needs a retaining water and fill dirt to reroute the rainwater away from the house and into the street. The house has an uneven pitted cement floor that is impossible to keep clean. It has lots of mold and severe roof problems with gaping holes that lend in the wind and the rain. Their current toilet is outside and in bad condition with no shower. The family is originally from Sinaloa and came to Tijuana to find work. Leticia dreams of a new home so the kids have a warm and secure place to live. This summer, Tijuana Ministry will be helping her to make that dream a reality. Our third construction site is a school for children with special needs. It's called Semillas de Dios, or Seeds of God. In Tijuana, children with special needs lack access to schools and programs to assist in their development. They are an underserved population. The local parish of San Eugenio received a papal grant to begin building a school for children with disabilities. The grant only covers a portion of the total funds required to complete the project, and the school currently stands unfinished and unusable. The parish hopes to continue to build piece by piece with the help of external partners and donations. During our 2012 trip, the Tijuana Ministry will continue working on the site, finishing electrical work and other items to be able to start using a portion of the facilities and to help raise funds needed to complete this much anticipated school. As part of the trip immersion, we interact with local residents and become aware of the difficulties they face every day. We attend mass with them and host discussions with local families. We visit the memorial wall at the U.S.-Mexican border and Casa del Migrante, a shelter for migrants and recently deported men. We also learn about the global realities that lead to issues of poverty and migration. This is one week that impacts a lifetime. Join us. Find out more at www.tijuanaministry.org.